In order to answer the questions in the randomness video, we need to use a table of numbers to keep track of all the different possibilities from the random function. So we might as well use a spreadsheet. Let's start with this column over here and the starting angle we said was 10 and so we'll reproduce that down here and the first uh, the first thing that the turtle can do is it can choose to turn right by a certain amount depending upon what the random function provides the the command is right random three three possibilities and the second thing that it will do is turn left by some random amount up to uh, three possibilities from 0 1 and 2 and what are the possibilities that the this particular one the right random 3 provides us with well it provides us with uh, possibilities of 0 1 and 2 and so 0 is a possibility and then of course afterwards the left random 3 can also choose a 0 if the first random 3 chooses 0 the second random 3 can choose a 1 and those are distinct and again this is these are the three possibilities that can happen if right random 3 chooses 0 and left random 3 chooses each, any one of the three possibilities that is available to it the same thing with um, right random 3 choosing a 1 uh, this would be a 0 and a 1 and a 2. So these are six possibilities so far. And finally, this, these three possibilities. So every combination of 0, 1, and 2 from right random 3 is matched with every combination of 0, 1, and 2 from left random 3. And every one of those um, is has a probability of 1 ninth because this has a probability of one-third and this has a probability of one-third and together they have a probability of one-ninth and so we will set that to one-ninth for all of them okay now what is the total amount of turn that will result when both right and, rent and left have their say. Well, it will be the sum of these two, except this left goes backwards, so it will be this minus that, and so the total turn will be this quantity minus that quantity, so that's equal to B2 minus C2, and that's zero, of course, when um, they're both zero but we'll see that when when this turns 0 but this turns 1 then the total turn is minus 1 degrees and the total outcome the total heading now the resultant heading is the original 10 degrees plus the total amount of turn and so that would be equal to a2 minus e plus excuse me e2 and of course if we move 0 and 0, we'll end up with a heading of 10. But of course, uh, these are the other possibilities. And now we see that there are nine possibilities. Of those nine possibilities, only one of them here, here results in a he final heading of 12. And so the probability of that is 1 ninth. Only one of them results in a probability, in a turn total of 8, a heading of 8, so that's also 1 ninth. But look at resulting from no, no total turn at all, ending up with 10. There are three possibilities, three ways of that happening. If uh, left and right choose 0, if left and right choose 1, if left and right choose 2, we end up heading in the same direction as we started and so that's three ninths or one-third probability in other words we have a higher probability of not turning very much as we have of turning the most amount which is two degrees and that is the answer to the question